Join us on the 1,700-mile trip from New Mexico to Florida. Well, we're leaving the balloon fiesta, and you can see the balloons come over the campground again this morning. It's very nice. We are so far moving smoothly. Um, no real major traffic jams yet, which is a good thing. Well, here we are in Blazing Saddles, Tum. How do you say it? Do you know? Tumari? No, Tumari. <laughs> Tumari. We're in New Mexico. Um, Tucumcari. Ton Tucumcari. Uh, tonight we're going to spend, or t yes, tonight and tomorrow night we're going to spend in Red Canyon Adventure Park about 30 miles this side of Oklahoma City so we had stayed here on the way to Balloon Fiesta and it was fine so we're staying here again just a few miles inside of Texas the windmills start up Must be a good reason why they're in Texas. So many of them are in Texas and not in New Mexico. We are walking on the California Trail, we think, in the Red Rock River State Park in Hinton, Oklahoma. Don't you just love the back of Joe's shirt, Tomasitas? It was a great restaurant we went to in Albuquerque, no, in Santa Fe, New Mexico sat at the bar and had Joe had margaritas and I had wine waiting for our train back to Albuquerque we just took a little hike had to climb up a pretty steep area and you can see why it's called Red Rock mm -hmm. apparently they do rappelling and you know it's a pretty steep canyon and I'm guessing these are black walnuts or some kind of walnuts you got the big green thing Inside that is the nut. And here is the amphitheater rappelling area. So I guess you can climb down and up this area right here. But you should use extreme caution because you could get hurt climbing up and down rocks. Well, there we are. We have this whole little area to ourselves now. And I want to um, say that it's really nice. We love the balloon festival, but it was really sandy. There was no trees. It was really kind of an open area with tons of people. This is really a nice place to regroup. <laughs> Green grass, big trees, nice and quiet and private. Love it. Well, we just climbed up the rocks here. Pretty steep, but got a view. Steep for us. Steep for us because okay. we're old and wimpy. Oh, here's my RV. Okay, we're kind of at the edge of the cliff here, so I'm just going to stick this stick out of here because I'm not doing it. Well, here's our site. Electri 30 amp electric and 20 amp. Nice level paved site. My favorite, concrete. I was really surprised how nice Oklahoma was. It's another state I'd never really thought about visiting. I want to go back and explore it more. It has mountains, prairies, and many Native American reservations. Oklahoma was the original Indian country. They say Oklahoma is one state with many nations. Today, 39 American Indian nations have their headquarters in Oklahoma more than any other state. Well, we just dumped our tanks at Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park in Hinton, Oklahoma. Pretty sure that's all accurate. <laughs> and we won't talk about the little mini disaster we had, but it all worked out just fine. We won't go into any details. No, nothing got splattered or anything. Rhonda left the gray tank valve open the last Rhonda time we dumped. Nothing to do with that process. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying at a Harvest Host winery, just about 
45 miles from here. That is not another cop, is it? We just saw four Arkansas State Police. I don't know, that may be more than we saw in all of Oklahoma. We really enjoy staying at Harvest Host Wineries. They're always a fun overnighter, and this one was no exception. Beautiful mountains in Arkansas. So our RV is up on the hill there. We're down at the dock. I'm going to spin around here. This is the walkway that we went down. Our chairs. And we are watching the sunset over the lake. Joe has his camera set up to do a time lapse. And it's just beautiful. We were just talking about how RVing is just really cool because you can see so many different things. There's only probably about six other campers in this park. So it's very quiet, very serene. They've actually drained this lake about six feet, I said, think it said on the um, website. I think so they can repair the docks and do some repairs around the lake. But it's still very beautiful. On the road with RVing with the Maracas. This beautiful lake in our Thor axis. Nice parks, pretty lakes, and beautiful sunsets all make us want to stay on the road to wander with no fixed destination. But for now, we have to head back home to North Florida. We're getting closer and closer to wanting to sell the house and hit the road full time. There's cotton, cotton, cotton. We're now in Louisiana, but Arkansas was pretty close to the same. Yeah, we're going to be heading home the same way that we came from here. Once you got on 20. Alright, here's the Mississippi River. Welcome to Mississippi. Yay. Well, we're almost to Alabama. And this is what the coach looks like inside when we're traveling. There's the TV. You can see I'm a little bored. I've not had it. Been in the car all day long. I'm really tired of this. How about you, Joe? What do you think? I think you should move the GoPro so you don't step on it. <laughs> well, our last night here, we woke up. We spent the night at a Harvest Host. It's a beautiful golf course in... Uh, well, just east of uh, Mobile, Alabama. Met some, a nice young couple from uh, Orlando, just leaving, going full-time on the road. They don't have solar yet, so their generator's running. <laughs> it was nice and quiet. It was raining, though, when we got here, so... Florida State Line. Welcome back home. The Appalachicola River and we just entered Eastern Time Zone. And then in a few hours we were home. This was our longest trip at over 3,000 miles and we really enjoyed it. Keep watching to follow our adventures.